Hey everyone here from Tunnelvision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a cool YouTube channel intro video using After Effects so let's get started. Alright so here we are in After Effects I'm using After Effects CC 2017 but you can follow along using other versions as well and uh, it's really basic stuff but you can use this idea to build on your own kind of intro video for your youtube channel so yeah i'm gonna create a new composition and um, i'm gonna make this one 1920 by 1080 hd 25 frames a second and i'm gonna make it uh, four seconds in duration click on ok and uh, then we're just gonna create a very simple logo you can obviously use your own logo bring it in but i'm gonna create a new solid and i'm gonna make it 500 by 100 and that's gonna be my logo background so it's gonna call this logo bg and I'm going to give it a color. Let's do a nice, uh, let's do a red. Okay, something like that. And uh, then we're going to create some text. So I'm going to right click new text. And you're going to type your YouTube channel. And obviously if you're using your logo, you can skip the steps. So I'm just going to type your YouTube channel. Okay, I'm just going to scale that down slightly. Something like that. And I'm going to move it into place like that all right then we're going to create a background as well so i'm going to right click new solid and i'm going to call this one bg and um, i'm going to set this one to be full screen so 1920 by 1080 or you can just click make comp size then click on ok and uh, this one i'm going to set all the way down at the bottom and i'm going to set a uh, gradient on this one so i'm going to right click go to effects go to generate and then gradient ramp and i'm going to change the ramp shape to radial and we're going to bring the center point down, something like that. I'm going to swap the colors and I'm going to change the white to a darker gray, something like that. And then I'm also going to change this midpoint or this point to just kind of be slightly something like that. All right, then I'm going to click on my logo background. I'm going to set a uh, drop shadow. So I'm using the Video Copilot uh, FX console. So I'm just pressing control space and I'm going to type drop shadow. I'll leave a link in the description if you don't have this plugin. Um, obviously, if you don't have it, you'll just have to right click and go to effects and just look for drop shadow. I think it is. There we go, under perspective. Okay, I'm going to set the distance and my uh, softness, something like that. That's looking nice. And uh, now I'm going to pre compose all these three layers together. So I'm going to select them, right click, go to pre compose, and I'm going to call this logo. So that's basically my logo comp. All right, next we're going to create a new solid and I'm going to make this one square and I'm going to make it 1920 by 1920, uh, 1920 like that. And I'm going to make the color white and then click on OK. And the reason I'm making it square is because I want to create a perfect circle uh, mask in the middle and it's really easy to do it on a square layer. So here at the top, I'm going to select ellipse tool and then I'm simply going to double click on it to create a perfect circle and then you can obviously scale it down so we're going to set the size to zero and uh, then I'm going to create a keyframe on that scale and I'm going to go forward one two three four five six frames and I'm going to set the size to around 13 and then one two three four frames forward I'm going to set this to around seven and then one two three four and I'm going to set it to ten and that's just to create a bounce effect like that Okay, I'm going to easy ease it. So I'm going to select all these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, just to smooth that out. Okay, so you've got something like that. And then we're going to go forward a couple of frames, one, two, three, four, five, maybe set another keyframe, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to scale it up all the way so it's kind of filling the whole composition. All right, so if we play this back, we have that. And next I want to rename this layer, so I'm going to select it, press enter, and I'm going to call it Matt, M-A-T-T-E. And uh, then I'm going to duplicate it, command D, and um, I'm just going to call this one circle, like so. Right, so I'm going to hide my matte layer for now, and um, on my circle I'm going to press M to show the mask. I'm going to duplicate the mask, so with a mask highlighted, press command D on your keyboard. And then on the second mask, I'm going to expand that and I'm going to change this add to subtract. And then I'm going to change the mask expansion to around hmm, minus 70, 60, something like that. So if you play this back now, you'll see you've got like a nice little circle animation like that. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to minimize all of these settings 
and um, then we want to use this matte layer as a alpha matte to reveal our logo layer so i'm going to enable that again and um, then here at the bottom i'm going to click on toggle switches and modes and um, on my logo layer i'm going to go to track matte and then i'm going to click on this drop down and i'm going to set this to alpha matte and i'm going to use the matte layer all right so now if we play this back you'll see that that is actually revealing our logo screen and um, now obviously you can go back to toggle switches and you can enable motion blur on the top two layers and also enable motion blur on your comp so now if we play this back we have this and that's how easy it is to create a youtube intro video using after effects so if you guys enjoyed this one give me a thumbs up if you did and also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new tutorials i upload new visual effects and motion graphics tutorials on a weekly basis so yeah you'll get notified it also helps me a lot so it's a win-win situation thanks a lot for watching see you guys next time cheers bye